Hi everybody, Lori here. So glad you're joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the December blog hop with Simon's the Stamp and I have a couple of projects to share with you featuring some of the new products that just came out in the December release. So I'm starting with the evergreen circle die. Beautiful gives you the negative and the positive which can both be used but I'm going to focus on this negative part right here. I'm going to take a, ne a nested circle die and die cut that negative image right out. So I almost like turn it into a frame, if you will. And then I'm gonna take that panel that's left over that was with the circle, and I'm gonna take a larger circle, just, a, just the one step larger, and just die cut. This is gonna just be used as a mask. I'm gonna do just a little bit of ink blending for the background, and I wanted my ink blending to kind of frame the evergreen circle, so I wanted it to be just slightly larger just one step, just a smidge. So now I'm centering everything on a little panel of Nina Solar White cardstock. Come on, get, get on with the ink blending. So I'm starting with Candied Apple and I just love this. I mean, it just never gets old when you ink blend with a mask. You know what I mean? You get that sharp, crisp edge and it's so clean and simple. You get that vibrant color with the distress inks, but you get the crisp white frame. It's like I wish my house could be like that, just sharp and clean. But I'm just going to keep it honest in this video. My house looks like a bomb went off. And we did put up the Christmas tree today, so I could blame it on the fact that there's Christmas stuff everywhere. But in all honesty, my house looks like a bomb went off, whether we put the Christmas tree up or not. And we do have a lot of children, and the youngest one's still seven. She's got the Legos and the Barbies, and we still got the play kitchen and the tea, the tea party perpetually set up. And, but one day I won't have the toys and then I'll be sad, right? That's my, what my husband says, right? Don't fret over these things. It's just a season of life, and then there'll be a different season, right? That's what he says. So now I'm embossing a sentiment from the coolest Eulist stamp set. I'm taking that same circle die that I used to die cut my evergreen circle frame, and I'm gonna die cut the sentiment strip, which will make it the exact size with the perfectly slightly rounded edges so that I can pop this up right in the center. And I'm loving this. It's like symmetrical, clean, simple, sharp, just like how I want my house. I love it when I can see the dining table and there's nothing on it. So now moving on to the second card, I'm using the picture book tree background die. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the first card. So I die cut that. Now I'm taking one of the nested rectangle dies because I wanted to die cut this out, you know, but I didn't have the perfectly sized rectangle. So I'm going to use the same one on the top and the bottom. I guess you would say I'm partially die cutting this bottom edge and I'm just trying to make all four sides equal in thickness. So once I get that die cut, I'm going to center this on my panel of Nina Solar White cardstock. And this time for the masking, I'm just using some post-it tape. Pardon my head getting in the way. I'm trying to get over top of it so that I can make it straight and parallel. I didn't measure anything, I just eyeballed it. It's not exact. If you look closely when it's in the end, I probably shouldn't say this, but it's not exact because I was just eyeballing it there with the masking and the post-it tape, but good enough. We're just gonna go with it. This time around, I'm ink blending with the cool tones. So I started with Blueprint Sketch, Mermaid Lagoon, and Crack Pistachio Nar, removing the mask. And I tell you, it never, ever, ever gets old. This just makes my heart go pitter patter. It never, ever gets old. Now I'm popping up this picture book tree background. I put the teeniest slivers of foam tape behind that. And I know it's crazy, the things I do for the dimension. But you know what? The heart wants what the heart wants. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? You just got to go with it. So now I'm popping up an embossed sentiment from that same coolest you list stamp set. And these cards are finished. Look at clean, simple, just like you want your living room to be. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your December blog hop. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.